welcome once again to the retro shelf and another new book that four months ago i unboxed blast annual volume one 2020 and this is blast annual two 2020 volume two for 2020 created by george thatcher and the team and in the interest of full disclosure i am part of that team i am a writer on this uh, publication and I received this as a complimentary copy for my work. So you can see we have volume two, this Facebook group, Blast Annual, and the blastannual.com website. This is available as a PDF, and I believe there may be a limited quantity of printed ones available. So copyright disclaimer, Intro page and on to the contents. To volume two, even more original awesome game reviews, more articles on coding, game development contests, developer interviews, community events, demo parties, do-it-yourself projects, and more. So interviews, Atari 2600 reviews, NES, Sega, Master System, uh, Sega Mega Drive, the Neocosis, the team, Commodore reviews, Spectrum reviews, Amstrad CPC, MSX, Mega, and ZX next. So there's the list of the team, and at the top here is me. By coincidence, I'm wearing the same t-shirt. It's in the photo, a white Commodore logo t-shirt. In memory of Alain Mosin-Paul, part of the French scene, worked at Ubisoft back in the day. Roundup of Play Expo Glasgow with Jim Bagley there. Atari Party East 2019. MSX Meetup 2019. Treffin Graps meeting. Advertisement for Atlantis. Evoke demo party results from August 2020. The Atwoods C64 Summer Open Air Party held in Germany. Cell skitter open air in the woods, and there was a barbecue. Data Storm 2019, GURP 2019 in Sweden, Zoo Party October 2019, making music on your ZX Spectrum with Andy Donsby, Adverts Old School Gamer Magazine, Caravan Boom on MSX. Basic sprites on Amstrad CPC. Another tutorial here. Coding experience with AGD and CPC Telera. AGD, obviously, an arcade game designer. Uh, Jonathan Caldwell. Commodore Plus 4. 3 plus 1 for all. Sonic the Hedgehog GX. An official Sonic game coming to the Amstrad GX and Plus machines. Those machines have more memory, higher resolution. Piece on Puddle Soft. We have Amp Stiller, Stephen Yote, Stephen Vogt, sorry, Graham Axton, and George Batchelor. And we've got Bear Essentials 2, The Great Outdoors. Hibernated 2, Learn to Code. Xscape from Paul Kubitzin appeared on the Commodore format cover tape back in 1995 as Squarescape 2. And I helped play test that for iPhone and iPad. Work in progress. The Wild Wood, an incredible looking game coming for the Commodore 64. Using the story, Amstrad CPC remake, much better graphics. Caravan Boomer for MSX, we saw that advertised. Amstrad CPC gamepad project, Alastair Gillespie. Light and Turtle project from Leone Philippe. Get ready for Mega 65, Paul Gardner Stephen talking about new hardware. 40 megahertz dual mode vic4 graphics 720 x 480x p60 output 60 hertz output 15 color sprites 256 color text mode vic2 and free compatibility stereo sids possibly four or eight in the final release ethernet controller freeze cartridge 484 kilobytes of ram sd card controller and a c65 compatible 3.5 inch floppy drive Sega Genesis Mini reviewed. 
Blast from the past, a couple of little mini reviews. Looking at the past, Cat Trap was creating a Crash Magazine competition. Street House, a very fun game on the C64. Make your own game with 8 bits to folder. An assembly program with Chibi Akumas. Tari Link's 30th birthday programming competition results here. MSX Dev 18. ZX Dev MIA remakes. So pick a game that's missing an action and remake it. And results of the Shoot 'em Up Construction Kit Competition 2019. Looking through the games there. The RGCD 16K cartridge coding competition. Also from 2019. Some great titles in that one. CBC Retro Dev Game Creation Contest. And here are the games. So as you can see, there's a lot still happening in the 8 bit scene. Ready and Play Retro Games Portal, Protovision advert there. And what's interesting, several of these have now been updated with Gmod 2 support on the most recent hardware for the 1541 Ultimate and 1541 Ultimate 2 cartridge. So you can now download Gmod 2 files for those. Alpha Ray on C16 and Plus 4. And as Forms Most Beautiful, Adventure Park C16 Plus 4, Chopper Command, Keystone Capers. Frostbite Brilliant Conversion from 2600 by Antonio Savona, Stephen Day, and Sawcross. Adventures in Time, C16 Plus 4, The Lands of Zagor, another C16, Sit My Brow 64 here, Gordon King Reviewing, Explode Man, C16, Project 20 Dead Strange, Santron, the reskin Christmas version of Neutron. And some smaller reviews, Space Orbs, Street Defender, Lily Lander, Bug Out, very clever game made with Gary Kitchen's Game Maker, The Great Escape 115% improved version, Aliens Near Plasma on the Spectrum. Maze Dev Rally X Spectrum, Mac Pietro, Booty the Remake, got a good score there. PTM, Sardonic, Raid Runner, Raid Blonner, Atlantis ZX, another 2600 conversion, Yazzie from Retro Souls, Astro Blaster, Eon M with a Jetpack, The Last Ninja, Ninja Cult 2, Moon's Fandom Festival, Mr. Kung Fu, remade from Kung Fu Master, Break the Loop from Ludic, Pinball Dreams on the Amstrad CPC, which is just incredible. Phantom Mass X Racing on MSX. Looks a lot of fun. Buddha Gilly. The Awakening on MSX here. Lines. Twin Light. Cheers and Gamma. Another boxed game there. Legendary Warrior Rygar, Amiga, AGA. Very good game. Enjoyed that a lot. Reshoot our new ship map for the Amiga. And you can also play that on Amstream now. Ty Varian on the next. And then Jim Bagley talking about Baggers in Space, which gets a stellar review here on the next. Xeno Crisis on the Mega Drive, and you can play that one on Evercade. Project Blue for the NES. Galagon for the Atari 2600. A very good remake of Galaga. And we're still on 2600 now. Pro Bowling, ISVI free point play, a basketball game. Wizard of War Arcade, another impressive 2600. And Bass Fishing Tournament, Amoeba Jump, Dragon's Descent, Beast, Advert for Bitmap Soft, and the Atari Visual History. Very good book, that. Champ Game is on Champo, who's done some of these amazing arcade conversions on 2600. Some use extra hardware in the cartridge. 
Jorge Romero Gonzalez, number six developer. Interview with the Batman group, most famous their Batman Forever demo and the Pinball Dreams conversion. And they're working on a new racing game, Vespertino, for Amstrad, which looks amazing. From Finland with Love, Retro Format. And then a look back at the 8-bit symphony. And you can see me here. <laughs> Here's my little opinion on the piece, and yes, I'm wearing the same t-shirt again. It's the white Commodore t-shirt in that when I met uh, Paul Nolan. Uh, sadly, the second Kickstarter for recording the symphony, uh, the recording session has been delayed back to 2021. So, and every game going for organising your collection. And there we have it. So that's the Blast Annual. 2020 volume 2 packed once again with lots of features and reviews and it will be going on the retro shelf so join me again soon on my channel like subscribe support me on Kofi, and see you in the next video